Hi! Today we're going to look at reflection. <laughs> so reflection is the mirror image. Let's read this question. Reflect shape ABC in the y-axis. This is shape ABC. In the y-axis means that the y-axis is going to be a mirror. So the triangle is not going to flip this way. It's going to flip over the other side like so. Now how do we do it? We will look at each corner or each vertex, so vertex means corner, and we see how far it is away from the mirror. For example, A is three spaces away, so now we find the exact same distance on the other side of the mirror or the other side of the y-axis. So label your mirror first. So now we have point A dash, which is the mirror image or the reflection of A. Now we do the same for B. How far is it from the mirror? It is five spaces, so we find that spot on the other side. Label it as B dash. Do the same for C, which is two spaces away from the y-axis. So therefore, on the other side, it will also be two spaces away. Label that as C dash. And now you can join the three vertices, and we have the new shape, or the mirror image, or the reflection. Now, these two triangles are the same. In other words, they're congruent to each other. Remember that symbol with the three lines means congruent. Let's do another one. Reflect rectangle ABCD in the X axis. That means that the X axis this time is a mirror. So again, pick a point A, find out how far it is from the mirror and find the point exactly the same distance on the other side and label that as A dash. Now, because we did A, the next one that's similar to it is D, same distance. So we're going to just find D next. Then the next point will do B. So B is five away from the mirror or the X axis. So we're going to find a spot five away on the other side and label that as B dash. We'll do the same for C. So it's, again, it's five away. So on the other side, it will be up there. And we'll label that as C dash. Now we can join all four vertices and get our new rectangle or our image. So that's the object we started with and that's the image. Let's do another one. This time it says reflect shape A in the line X equals 3. So the mirror is at X equals 3. So here's 3. X equals 3 is this line here and that's going to be our mirror this time. So again, we measure away from this, sorry, we measure to the mirror and away from it. And once we get all four corners, we can draw our shape. So again, always measuring to this line, get the four corners, draw the shape, and that's our new image. Let's have a look at this example. Reflect shape D in the line Y equals X. Label the new shape D dash. So the mirror this time is going to be y equals x, which is this line here. So again, we find each of the points measure to the mirror. And remember, you have to measure straight to the mirror, or in other words, perpendicular to the mirror. Find the distance. So it's two squares away, so find a dot over the other side. And then pick another point and measure that is four squares away. So pick the point four squares away. And lastly, the last little corner is half a box away. And then join the dots together to get your new image. So do you remember the steps? So in order to draw a reflection, first you must draw the mirror and then count the squares perpendicular to your vertex. So from one corner to the mirror to the other side. And then plot each of the new vertices. So the new dots or the X's that we did and then join the lines together. One last example. Here we have to reflect shape B in the line Y equals negative 2. Label the new shape B dash. So what's the first step? Label the mirror Y equals to negative 2. And then step 2 is find each of the vertices and measure to the mirror. So 3 to 3. And then complete your image by measuring each corner and then drawing the new shape. This is it for transformation with reflection. Next, we're going to look at transformation with rotation. See you in the next video.